regular watchers of these Volkswagen preview nights will understand that they're often less about the future of the industry and more about the ego of the individual CEOs. Take the Lamborghini Veneno for example. Do you really think that if Ferrari wasn't unveiling the F-150 and McLaren wasn't showing off the new P1 that there'd be another Lamborghini hypercar here in Geneva? Me neither. Does look good though. Officially built to celebrate Lamborghini's 50th anniversary, the Veneno costs a mere $3.9 million plus tax and will be offered to just three customers who've already paid a hefty deposit. It is deliberately silly, designed to invoke an era when Lamborghini built the most extreme of supercars when spoilers were tacked on for the hell of it. It was an innocent time before the Germans took over and everything got a bit sensible. The Veneno really is a piece of art, but that for me is the rub. When there were new cars like the Mura and the Countach were well, aspirational. You really believed that if you worked hard and achieved something, you might just be able to afford one. But this, this is different. This is a museum piece destined for some private collection. It's a rich man's trinket, which makes it almost irrelevant. And that for me is a crying shame.